Hello, so you remember this TV unboxing? So I did get a little questions, so I made this video with more information on what you should expect from it and uh, the features it got and how to operate an Android system. Yeah, so welcome and let's get into it. Oh, you're here. So we're gonna jump right into it. Uh, you probably remember this TV. And uh, let's get into it. So we're gonna go to home. You can see all the features. You have the smart cloud TV, you have the digital TV and log TV, AV connectors, and remember the three HDMI that I showed you. You have your app store and uh, you have your TV assistant, kit link and browser. Uh, let's click the browser and see what happens. So it uses Seraphic browser. Yeah. Oh, I didn't connect to the internet. I hope you did get to see the Wi-Fi icon. You can use it to connect, but I'll show you later how. So let's go back. The interface is different on a lot of TVs. It's mostly the same, basically, but it gets different. So let's go to Invisible Art. You see the mountains, beach, flowers. These are all things that you can use as your wallpapers and it's really clear I saw a question on its clarity it's clear and uh, soon I'll show you a video that we played on it it was really clear you can see the images were really crisp and the colors were bright yeah okay so let's go back and uh, click on the digital TV it will prompt us to scan but we can't right now because we don't have an area and we have to scan and that's not what we want to do but if you want to set up your TV to view the digital stations you can do that from there yeah, so you go back to home you can see such I'm sorry for the void being so blood let me fix that a little yeah so we go to search you can see we have search home classify and my apps and uh, about so when we go to my apps you can see you have your play store and uh, if you really want to know if your tv is an android tree is an android tree v so you need to see the play store app it is a really good indicator that you are using an android tv yeah because a lot of TV these days call themselves Android, but they aren't. They are just smart TV. So if you see the Play Store app, you're probably safe. Here you can see the application version there. So let's uh, let's go back. Uh, let's go back. Um, the settings. Network. You can see you can connect wirelessly because the TV has Wi-Fi so you can either get a Wi-Fi public one or your home Wi-Fi you can see it can search for itself and uh, you can even use your phone as a Wi-Fi device comment if you want to know how to use that yeah, so you can go to the settings you have your network you have your time and uh, common what is this this is where you set your language and your keyboard and your wallpapers yeah, you can see, I don't know if I'll play them. You also have your device name, Smart TV. And uh, this is a really nice feature, HDR. Let me show you what it means. HDR simply means high dynamic range. It means that the bright stuff becomes vibrant and the dark stuff becomes darker. So it really gives you better color. I think you can see the difference and the contrast. It's a really nice thing to have on a TV. If you see a movie with HDR and uh, the same movie without, you will notice. It's not the highest quality or the highest end HDR, but it will do. Cheap 
or basic HDR is better than no HDR. So in here you can add your accounts, your Google accounts preferably. So if you maybe want to sync your playlist or YouTube with your phone and uh, for your TV. So the TV also has internal memory because I told you it is an Android TV. It is an Android TV so you have 8 GB internal memory you have 1 GB. Android version is 11 that's nice smart TV and uh, the firmware version so we can uh, go down a little you can see the number of processes yeah and uh, don't forget to update if yours isn't currently updated yeah you can see the number of processes and the GPU graphics processing unit yeah this one's uh, private okay so we can go back and uh, I think that was the most you can see the wallpaper we set and uh, it's kind of nice and good the TV really has a nice interface feature to it yeah don't mind me all the things we're doing back there hi so we're gonna turn it on again yeah, so this is what you have so uh, this is a really nice TV and it's really clear uh, like I said it's full HD 1080p display so if you're planning on buying a cheap TV like I said it's on Jumia for 23k buy it yeah so I'm going to be closing in I'm going to show you one of the songs I couldn't find a 1080 version but the 720 really looked good so goodbye. Hey, welcome to Tech Advance, your one-stop shop for all your tech needs. Let's get started.